Hey everybody, it's Michelle Lavore and And Devin Lavore coming and, at you. <laughs> and today we just wanted to talk to you about faith and go a little bit more into what faith is about. And specifically, I think the question today and what we're going to be covering is really do you have crazy faith? So many people in the Bible had to believe some things that others would call them crazy for. Yeah, in their culture, you know, because we read the Bible and we think, wow, that's so awesome that he did that. But if you were a person in that culture, you might have looked at some of these people and gone, you are insane. What yeah. is wrong with you? That is not the Lord. No, you're deceived, brother. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so one of the characters I think is really awesome that you don't really hear a lot about, maybe like on Christmas or something, is Simeon. Now check this out, and I don't know if Simeon even told anybody this, and it's a really small thing, but I think it's a really profound thing, in that the Lord told him that he would not die until he laid his eyes on the Messiah. And then, I don't know if it was him who circumcised Jesus when he was first born or not, yeah. but... But, you know, Jesus was eight days old, mm -hmm. and Simeon held baby Jesus <laughs> in his hands, you know? And now, now, this is the crazy part about it. The crazy part is that God would share that with them. Because if you told somebody today, you know, yeah, you know what the Lord told me? The Lord told me that uh, I'm not going to die until he returns. People would say, oh my gosh, you're insane. You're a lunatic, right? They would think you're crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, no one knows when Jesus is coming back. He's like, well, I didn't say I knew when Jesus is coming back. I'm just saying he told me I'm not going to die until he returns. And the second part of the crazy is that he would hold Jesus in his hand and he knew by the spirit that that was him. Here was this guy. He heard from the Lord that he wouldn't die until he saw the Messiah. And then he had to hear from the spirit. He had to have that inkling of the spirit when he held Jesus in his mm -hmm. hand to know that this is him. So to go out and try to tell somebody this is what the Lord just showed me. They probably thought he was crazy. And another example, of course, is just with Mary and the whole birth of Jesus. And oh my God, that's like the chief crazy right there, yeah. right? Because <laughs> it was definitely not a good thing to get pregnant before you were married. Um, you could actually be killed for it in their culture. Basically stoned to death, yeah, right? Yeah, be like stoned stone to death. And, you know, to just... <laughs> Be like, okay, angel comes and tells you you're going to have a baby. and There's so many stopping points here. I'm going to stop myself from stopping. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even though I just stopped you. Yes. <laughs> oh, Lord, help me. <laughs> so here Mary is. She's been told by an angel that she is going to have a baby. And she says, all right, you know, your will be done. And... Um, what is really cool about it is that she was able to go to her cousin's house, Elizabeth, mm -hmm, Elizabeth yeah. and Elizabeth was also pregnant at the time with John the Baptist. A whole nother crazy encounter yeah. right there. <laughs> and so I think that there was just a lot of encouragement for her there because it's like, hey, guess what? <laughs> I'm going to have a baby. And she was with someone who had experienced God move in a amazing way. And so it's like, hey, yes, like, this is God. Um, but even still, like, just the fact that she, you know, she had to walk the whole pregnancy out. And, you know, I'm sure there were people that were laughing at her. Um, rumors, I'm sure, were going all oh, over the yeah. place. the rumor mill was spinning. Yeah. Spinning. And to think <laughs> that it was just like, Oh, you know, everybody accepted the fact that Mary was going to have the baby of God. <laughs> it's yeah. like, no, I mean, we and look at it. she just straight up told the truth, too. Yeah. You know? So Mary definitely didn't have it easy um, having faith in what God had, you know, promised her and given to her. And, um, and it kind of also Joseph. I mean, God sent an angel to him and said, okay, no, this really is my son, you know, go and marry her. And he had to do that out of faith, believing that what he heard was true about Mary. Because and he thought it was crazy. Yeah. He, he surely thought it was crazy. Mm-hmm. He had to get a sign. 
He did. <laughs> and yep. we'll stop there. That's a stopping point. <laughs> <laughs> because for me personally, some of the things that God has been speaking into my life and sharing with us about what's getting ready to happen, I'm like, bro, that's that's pretty crazy. Yeah. And so that's why we made that video about this baby yep. becoming, it's like a sign. It's like God's like, I have to give this to you, this sign. This baby's a sign. I have to give it to you because you can watch that whole video if you want to know more about that story because if I don't give it to you as some sort of physical sign that you can always look to you know you will uh you'll doubt you'll not believe and I need you to believe that this is going to happen mm -hmm. this time and I'm like wow okay this is crazy so another example is Noah think about Noah and I'm sure some of some of you guys have already heard this like a hundred times here's a guy who was told to build this thing called a boat and it took him 100 years so whereas mary she had to deal with the rumor mill for maybe nine months or probably longer he oh, had yeah. to deal with it for 100 years mm -hmm. he had to deal with it a lot mm -hmm. and not only that but the crazy part is there had never been rain yeah. you know when god said i'm going to send rain on the earth there they were still in the time where they just there was just dew Mm -hmm. You know, there was no rain. So it's like, it was crazy. People thought he was nuts. Yeah. Probably was like, what are you doing? You're building this huge thing. It's like, dude, what are you doing? Well, and he lived in a time period where people were just completely rebellious against God. And so they probably mm -hmm. didn't even, you know, they might have just thought. Half of them probably didn't even care. Yeah. They were like, wow, this is a neat show. <laughs> <laughs> and you're you know? like, hey. Let's go watch Noah build his ark. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go see Noah build the arch. <laughs> so another person that we can look at for um, faith that seemed crazy is Abraham. And Abraham, he had actually quite a few times where God yes. asked him to believe things that it was like, what? What are you asking? <laughs> like that's just crazy. And I think the first for him was God asked him to leave his country. He didn't say, okay, this is where you're going. He just asked him to leave. And so he did that. He obeyed God. He packed up all his stuff and he left his country. And also tied in with that was the promise that God would make him a great nation. Now, the issue that Abraham had was that Sarai at the time, soon to be Sarah, but... Um, mm -hmm she could not have kids and so abraham's like okay god i believe you but i don't know how it's going to happen and and throughout his journey he had a few times where he's like well is it you know is, is my inheritance going to go over to um someone else or is it going to actually be my son that i don't have kids you know what's mm -hmm. what's going to happen and then um, you know what's interesting is that throughout that time you could tell that God was not giving him the answer mm -hmm. that he wanted. You know, he wasn't giving him the answers that he wanted. So he was like, so it leads you to wonder because when God's speaking to you and you're going, well, God, how is that going to happen? He's completely silent on it. Yep. And then so you start thinking like, well, maybe it's going to happen like this. <laughs> well, maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe this is going to happen. And that's good. And God's just going... No, that's not going to happen. Yeah, like you have no idea. Because <laughs> he, no he thought it was going to go to his servant, uh, Eliezer yes. or something like that. or mm -hmm. And then they try, he tried the Hagar thing. Yeah. Or whatever. With Ishmael. And... So eventually Abraham and Sarah do end up having a baby named Isaac. And then the crazy thing, though, is that God then asks him, Abraham, to sacrifice Isaac and so that right there is crazy yeah i mean if someone if 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 abraham comes to somebody let's say there was a church at the time and abraham's like god wants me to take my son up on the mountain and kill him <laughs> oh my gosh people would put you in jail you know yeah. for something like that it's crazy especially since he's the only son <laughs> mm -hmm. he has but i think you know maybe for abraham it's not as crazy as what how we see it because 
you know, he had walked through just the promise of getting a son. Mm -hmm. And then, like, knowing, like, wow, like, that that was a huge milestone. It was 25 years after God initially told him, hey, you're going to have, you know, descendants. Like, yeah. Sand of the sea. Sand of, and stars yeah, and the, the stars sky, of the that. sky. And then 25 years later, he gets Isaac. Abraham, I think he just, he knows, like, okay, God is going to you know, do what he promised. He didn't know how or anything like that. But I think maybe for him, it still was kind of crazy. Like, okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to be obedient and make this sacrifice. But even in him going up the hill, he even told Isaac, you know, God is going to provide. Mm -hmm. And so I think he really did have this faith Faith, that God really is going to provide. I don't know how, but he, and and he was faithful to... Because he knew, like, he's like, God's not going to actually... He, this is like he's like something's not right here. He's not gonna actually tell me to kill somebody. Something's well, going on here. You know. What I mean? And the truth is, he might even been like, you know what? Well, maybe God will raise him from the dead. If like, <laughs> I mean, really, like he just maybe, knew. Like, maybe. And yeah. uh, ultimately, God did provide. There was a lot of things in Abraham's life that were kind of crazy. And so, what if the Lord told you, "Hey, I want you to go and marry." this prostitute down the road, you know, famous Mary, I want you to go marry her. Well, that happened to a guy named Hosea. (laughs) God told him, go marry Gomer. She is a harlot. And it was that whole marriage and lifestyle with her because God knew that he was going to marry her, but he knew that she was just going to keep stepping out on him. Mm -hmm. And that was going to be like a prophetic picture of how Israel had been treating God. And it's like, man, it's like, you know what? Like I say in all my videos, you know, a lot of times I'll be like, do you really want to know the Lord? Do you really want to know who he is? Because these are the kind of things he's done. You know, so much in our American Christian life, we we have it like, well, no, God, I want you to live your life through me like this. And I want Mm -hmm. my life to look like this. I want it to be like a Norman Rockwell painting. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or some sort of You know, and it's like, it's like, it's not like that. You know, like if you really want to live by faith and really hear from God and be obedient to what he's telling you to do, these are the kind of examples that you're going to live through. And another person from the Bible who had some awesome faith is um, Joshua. And God, um, I think one of the craziest things is when he, the Israelites are coming into the promised land and they come up against Jericho. And God just tells oh, Joshua, you know what? Yes, like, yes. all right, this is what I want you to do. And I want you to march around <laughs> the walls of Jericho. What was it? Seven days for seven days? Mm, it was like one, one time, time around for the, for six days. days. And, and on then the, the seventh, seventh day, seven, seven times. times around. And then at the very end of that, you're going to make all, you're going to just yell and blow the blow horns as loud as possible. And those first six days, they weren't supposed to say a word. Nope. Not, not a word. Not one word. And Which the walls will come down. Which is to me. <laughs> and it's and just. And these walls were thick. They said, some, I, some historian I was reading or hearing or whatever, listening to, they said that you could drive two chariots side by side. Yeah. Around those, the top of those walls. I'm like, mm-hmm. dang, those things were thick. Those yeah, I mean, people were wider had their, than our, they're like the size of our highways. Yeah, well, their you know? houses, a lot of people had their homes built in, in. into yeah. the walls. That's so true. That's true. This wasn't, you know, some flimsy wall that. <laughs> so Joshua, he had to believe that God knew what he was doing. And because. Any probably military person would have had all these strategies of like, okay, we're going to infiltrate and infiltrate the wall here. It's weak over here. And we're going to send our best men and all of that. And instead it's, nope, we're going to just walk around and be quiet (laughs) and then shout. And, you know, if anything, it's just demonstrating God's power. Yeah. And um, well, what about the, you know, the second Chronicles 20 thing where it was like we got all these this whole nation that's like numbers, the stars of the sky. They're coming against us. What are we going to do? And God says, well, I want you to put the worship team up front and the mm-hmm. army's not even going to need to battle in this because and then they ended up destroying the, the enemy ended up destroying themselves because they, yeah. you know, as a symbol of like, 
you know, praise the Lord first, but let the praise go up and all that. But it's just like, it's crazy to be like, what? You want us to do what? You want, you want to kill the worship team? Is that what you want to do? <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, I just I got the way God does things and the way that we affect the spiritual realm when we obey God is all throughout all those Old Testament stories. So this is just supposed to be in a, a video to kind of encourage you when God does ask you to believe for things that seem crazy to you or to other people that there are so many people, the cloud of witnesses in mm -hmm. Hebrews talks, you know, is, talks about the cloud mm -hmm. of witnesses and mm -hmm. You know, you can go there and just go through all the different stories and look at what God asks people to do and how he, through their faith, accomplished many victories and he fulfilled his promises that he gave people. And so, um, yeah, we just want this to be an encouragement to others that are just going through times where they're, they're needing crazy faith. Um, to Cause... just move forward with God. Mm -hmm. And um, I know that's where we're at in our life right now. And so uh, hopefully yes. <laughs> you guys can just take encouragement from people of the Bible and, and what they've had to believe. So until next time. Yeah. Well, see you later. And check out my wife's channel, Michelle Lavore, YouTube. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> <laughs>